guys, I'm on the way to a no heat call that just came in, brand new customer. Let's go take a look and let's see what's going on. I'll see y'all when I get there. All right, guys. I just turned the thermostat on. This inducer sounds like it seems it's seen better days. Burners turned on and it turned off. Shoulders clean. All right, let me pop out the sensor. Take a look. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I got my flame sensor out. Doesn't look too bad. But I want to see something here. With this thing disconnected, I want to make sure it does the same thing. I want to make sure that the burners... Okay, it's giving me the same frequency. But yeah, guys, I can try cleaning this, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look too bad. Alright, let me clean the sensor. I'll be right back. That looks a little better. Let's see here. This furnace definitely could use maintenance. That's for sure. And definitely that induced motor will definitely be on our recommendation list of getting replaced. burn staying on and it looks like this customer already replaced the filter so at a minimum we could definitely do a maintenance on this unit and we can recommend replacing that inducer motor Alright guys, here's the update. We signed this customer up for maintenance and we're going to order a new motor. I just called our local supply house. We're going to come back here within a few days to put a new motor in. But guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and I just want to make sure that nothing's stuck inside the blades. That's the only thing I can really do. Just make sure that nothing's stuck. But guys, let me do that. Let me take this apart. I'll be right back. And negative, guys. There was some internal rust flakes that fell out, but nothing crazy. And look at this. I 
no flying birds. Nothing inside here. Nothing stuck inside this motor. So, yeah, that sound is certainly an internal issue. Maybe the bearings or something like that is on its way out. But, all right, guys, while I'm at it, let me get my cloth and my brush. Let's clean these burners. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got everything back together. And I got my manometer. I want to check entries of water column on this inducer. And I got everything cleaned up. Yeah. This thing is definitely pulling proper entries of water column. But what I think could have happened is all the dust and debris got inside that motor and. That's what's causing that sound. But like I said, we'll be back in a few days for the motor. But in the meantime, I'm going to slap in a new pressure switch while I'm here. So the only thing we'll have to do once we come back is just pop in a new motor. But all right, guys. Uh, let me get my pressure switch. And I'll be right back. Got my new switch in. Sounds a little bit quieter, but still, we're just gonna pop the new motor in. Cleaned our burners off. The flue pipe looks good. Nothing stuck inside the vent. Filters clean. Pressure switch closed. And that's all there is to it. What is this, a 17 or 2009? This furnace still looks like it's in decent shape. I think this might be a 09. But yeah, guys, that's all there is to it. We'll shoot back out here to put in a motor but now this customer is under maintenance and you guys see the evap coil there we'll come back out here within the next month or so to check the ac and moving forward hopefully we can avoid the next breakdown by keeping everything as clean as possible so there you guys have it no heat found dirty flame sensor found furnace covered in dust we popped in a new pressure switch and also we found the inducer motor noisy so what we did was we technically performed the maintenance on the unit to get the heat up and going and to avoid the noise we're going to come back out here to do the inducer motor and moving forward the maintenance is going to prevent future breakdowns by keeping all these parts clean and also moving forward this customer is going to get a detailed report so they'll be alerted of any sounds or any abnormal you know electrical readings before things break down so that's the purpose of the maintenance guys avoid breakdowns and like i said make HVAC one less thing for our customers to worry about. That's what it's about, guys. Alright, but I'm getting ready to pack up and get up out of here. I gotta get to another call. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.